for the moment. The football Bearcats after a 3-0 start. Needing to win out to keep their bowl hopes alive. Playing Memphis this afternoon, a Memphis team that has come a long way. Even a little one shaking things up in Memphis. Memphis gets on top early using skullduggery, chicanery, halfback pass. Darren White to Chris Kelly, wide open. Covers 65 yards and gives the Tigers a 7-0 lead. You see what answer in the first. Gino Gadulli with his 28-yard connection with Hannibal Thomas. They're tied 7-7. In the second, you see catches a break, courtesy special teams. The Memphis field goal attempt is blocked. Taiwan Hagler has it, and he's going the other way. He's gone. Now, don't run out of gas, big guy. Finds reserve tank. 76-yard return and a 13-7 lead for the Bearcats. Makes it 16-7. They don't like it on the Memphis side. Then Chris Manfredini from 41. Count it. But... Memphis not done. No sirree, Bob. 62-yard drive ends with Danny Wimprine taking it in from the one. You see, you see still up two, 16-14. But Memphis gets it back on the nine. And Darren White going outside from the three, and that would be the game winner. You see loses 21-16, falls to five and six overall, two and five in the conference. Here's my partner Dan Horde with more. The Memphis Tigers are going to a bowl game for the first time in 32 years, and the UC Bearcats are not going bowling for the first time in four. That's the bottom line after today's 21-16 loss for UC here at the Liberty Bowl in Memphis. We had some early losses to South Florida, along with uh, Southern Miss, and, you know, we just been all right average in the conference, so this pretty much puts us out of the bowl contentions for the uh, conference. I think that's the difference between this team and last year's team. You know, this year... Our mistakes are costing us games, where well, last year we overcame those mistakes, but we just we let a lot of close ones get slipped through our hands, and that's why we, where we are right now. Things happen. Things happen. It's been happening all season, just a bad year. You know, we just have to bounce back, and we got one more game. The season ain't over yet. We got to come back and play hard against Louisville, and then that's it. That's all we have. Start working on next year. It's it been like that all year, you know, nip and tuck, nip and tuck. You know, it came down to us at the end of the game, you know, down there around the goal line, and, uh, we just couldn't stop them, but I feel like it slipped away, but you know, we just, seems like it, lately we've just been losing like that. The season will end for the Bearcats on Friday in a made-for-TV day after Thanksgiving game against the Louisville Cardinals. Kickoff at Nippert Stadium is at 11 in the morning. The final score again today, Memphis 21, Cincinnati 16. Opening loss at Iowa, the Miami Redhawks have been one of the hottest teams in the country, averaging 44 points a game and climbing up the BCS charts. Thanks in most part to the big arm of Ben Roethlisberger. We put on another show today against Ohio. Less than two minutes into the game, check out this pretty pass from Roethlisberger to Martin Nance. One heck of a receiver. Nance caught six balls for 95 yards and two TDs. Miami's up seven zip when Ryan Robinson, the freshman, shakes a few tackles and takes the punt back 69 yards. Pretty nice effort. He also caught two passes for 60 yards. 14-0 Miami, less than six minutes into the game. Now here's Samuel Roethlisberger finding his tight end, Matt Brandt. Watch him get his feet in. Wide open, yeah. 10 for six. Big Ben finishes with 293 yards passing and four TDs. Miami improves to 10-1 with a 49-31 win over Ohio.